Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another garden vlog. Today we're gonna start off this garden vlog by doing a little bit of maintenance in my circular bird bath bed over here. It is this one right here. And I have some weeds to pull out, some plants to replace, and some pruning to do. So yeah, we're just gonna do it together. Actually, I wanna take care of this entire area. This is like my shade garden that I installed last year. I bought some more plants to go in my shade garden area. And I wanna show you. This one is a Chinese wild ginger. I thought it was super cool. And this one is a Brunera. The specific variety, I think it's like a Jack Frost Brunera. So anyway, they're both shade plants and I think I'm gonna put them like, I don't know. Hmm, actually, I don't know. Maybe this can go here. Huh. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet. <laughs> but regarding this bed, I do know what the plan is, so we're just gonna do that really quick. I bought this pasta because I, I planted something here. I think it was a hydrangea, like, two seasons ago, and it obviously did not make it. I don't think it even made it last season. So I bought this one. Let me see which version it is. It's the Hosta guacamole. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like that name. <laughs> but it's a dark, it's a like a medium green with a darker green edge. So that's gonna go just right in the center there so that it's nice and big. Oh, big gust of wind. And then I bought this tick seed to replace a different tick seed that I had planted that did not make it before. So yeah. Let's start by just clearing out the leaves and then we'll do some weeding. This bed is officially cleaned up. I think that this bed is so cute. It's, it's like especially beautiful in later summer when all of the hostas are up and the hydrangeas are blooming. It's very pretty. And then I cleaned up this area of all of the leaves. It looks so much better. And I'm still contemplating on where to put these shade plants. I guess I thought that I had more space over here to do it, but I want a clear path to be able to like pull things in and out from this gate here. Obviously we have like the walking path, but yeah, so this gate needs to swing open and it goes to like about here, wait, to here. And so I can't put anything further up from there. So I don't really know what to do with them. And then this is a really cute little area. I got this um, watering can planter at a antique not an antique mall a estate sale and there's lights and i've never plugged it in i don't know if it works but i don't have power up here so i'm just gonna remove those but i'm gonna put obviously some plants in these hanging baskets and then something in here it's just gonna be annuals obviously because it's a pot i have a garden bed at the front of my property which i've never shown but last year i did some work to just make it look better basically i just cleared it out and i was gonna plant some stuff but i was thinking to myself i don't know if i should plant stuff up there because i don't have a water source very close at all and i would prefer to just put things up there that aren't going to need my attention which led me to the thought of what if i just put a bunch of wildflower seeds up there because i mean i am gonna have to 
yeah, I would have to water them then. I don't really know, because obviously they're not gonna come up without water. <laughs> But I, I suppose I could take my watering can down there for a few days in a row until they like come up and I feel like wildflowers will be fine after that. I don't know, we'll just have to see. But that, that is kind of what I'm thinking because I don't wanna use like my pretty plants up there because it's just an area that I honestly don't really care about. But I want it to look nice because it's, it's because it's at the entrance of our property. Um, but not an, I don't care enough to like build it up and like spend money on like a border or anything like that there was a border there that is like mostly disintegrated and buried we're just gonna like i have some extra soil from last year that i haven't used yet and i'm just going to use that and just mound up some stuff and then put down some wildflower seeds and just see what happens and water it with my watering can that's not going to be ideal but i'm gonna do it because I think that's gonna be the lowest maintenance thing long term. thought that soil would go a lot further. So I think I'm gonna go to the store and get like two or three more bags because I can't start a project and not finish it. I just, I can't do it. I'm also gonna get some annual flowers for like the bucket and all of that kind of stuff too because I haven't done that yet. So maybe I'll get like four bags of soil. This all feels very silly because I have a soil order coming tomorrow, but I had plans for that soil for something else. I didn't even think about these projects. I was just like using up extra stuff that I had. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's been a few days. <laughs> Admittedly, I had to take some time just to rest my body. And yesterday was kind of cloudy anyway, so I decided to just chill out inside. But I have come back from the store, obviously, and I rearranged things, or not rearranged, I arranged things how I think I want it to go. But, you know, these are plants that are gonna live like all through the summer. So I'm thinking that they're gonna get pretty big so I might actually just plant things not so full um, before or like at the beginning of the season so I'm thinking right now I'm going to put I don't know I like the way that both of these look together here like to make it a little bit of a bigger fern because if I was just like plant these separately I don't know where I would put the other one because yeah I mean I think it would look kind of weird to have a fern down here and here so I'm thinking I'm gonna plant both of those at the bottom and then I bought two six packs of this I've never seen it before but I was looking it's called a lobelia and it's a part sun plant so this area is definitely like mostly shaded but it does get a little bit of afternoon sun so I figured it would be okay for it so it's kind of like a I'm assuming like a low grower and then I also got this plant here which I got a couple years ago it's a diamond frost or I got it last year it's diamond frost but it kind of cascades and um, it's this is also a part sun plant I really liked it in the past so I just got it again it looks really nice and I thought it would look kind of pretty cascading out of this little watering can I think that looks really nice and actually just one plant would probably do the trick because it's going to get a lot bigger so i think i bought too much which i thought that i didn't buy enough so that's actually nice for me <laughs> let's get planting
Okay, so this double, what are these things called? Moses hooks? I don't know. This double Moses hook situation is new. I bought it last year and I didn't end up using it. I have these two, uh, what are these? Ivy. <laughs> I have these two Ivy, which are actually perennials. So that's interesting. I might use these somewhere else, but um, well, later in the season if it lives. And then I have more of that diamond frost. Okay, so the next spot is my two front planters here, and I always switch these out for the seasons. I already put just this six pack of the Lobelia over here just because I knew I was gonna be planting it in here. So I actually purchased two like bulbs, I guess, of elephant ear. It's like the giant elephant ear, so it's like the huge ones. And <laughs> it might be a mistake to plant them here because it says that they get like really, really big, but I kind of want to try it. And I think maybe because it's more shaded, maybe they won't get as big. I really don't know. I have these obelisks here uh, just for some like early spring interest. I didn't have anything planted in these. I did have the trees, but I took them out. And after that, I was like, oh, this looks really sad. So I just put these in here for now and I think they're pretty. And until the elephant ear actually comes up, I'm probably just gonna leave them there. I need to go get the elephant ear. They're in the garage, I mean, in the greenhouse. So I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is spread these wildflower seeds. So I have two packs of these and I read one of the, um, oh, this one's a shade mixture. I don't know how that's gonna do because <laughs> this is definitely full sun. So I've got a shade mixture and a full sun mixture. I guess we'll just see what happens. Okay, but basically it says what you do is sow the seeds outdoors in spring in a sunny location which is where we are. Then it says, use a rake to roughen the soil surface to a depth of one to one and a half inches to three inches, removing any weeds or vegetation. Broadcast seeds over planting area and rake seeds in very lightly and keep soil consistently moist. Okay, sounds good. I am going to finish spreading out soil in this area because I went to the store and got more as you saw. And I need to like cover the, the landscape tarp a little bit better. So hopefully I have enough soil. If not, I have my palette that was delivered <laughs> and I can add more. That is going to be the end of this garden vlog or really it was like a landscaping vlog and I'm super excited. I'm super out of breath right now. Oh, I just have to level with you. Like I'm having to do things so much slower and um, not able to do as much in a day as I normally am. And I'm trying to be nice to myself about that because obviously it's because I'm growing a human and that's fine and my body's putting all of my energy into that. But yeah. I do feel very slow, but we still got some stuff done um, and I'm really thankful for it because the, the property is just gonna look really nice for when we have guests this 
this week or next weekend for the baby shower. So anyway, I'm excited for that. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and doing some of these chores and beautifying my property. If you're not already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more garden, landscaping, life vlogs type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.